I'm your chef Aaron Goldstein, and today we are diving into Japanese cooking a little bit. I'm super excited. So we can't talk about Japanese cooking without starting with dashi, okay? It's really the building block of everything in Japanese cooking. Well, most things. A lot of things. So I really love dashi, especially as the cold weather is approaching, because I love to have it sometimes for breakfast or just as an afternoon snack or really as a building block for so many different dishes, okay? Because it can add real depth um, and real nuance to a lot of your cooking, right? So let's get right to it. So right here, I've got a pot of water, all right? Now to that water, when I first added about four cups, I added this kombu, all right? Kombu or giant kelp. Imagine this was once a big, this is from a big piece like this. Now, when you get this, ideally it has this kind of little white film, all right? Don't be alarmed, that that's a good thing, you want that. Um, that's kind of flavor. So to clean it, you don't actually want to rinse it, just take a damp cloth and just kind of wipe the piece of kombu, okay? So to the cold water in your pot, you add the kombu, all right? And bring it up to a boil and then stop once it hits the boil, all right? Which that usually takes about 10 minutes. You don't really want to boil it because it can kind of have a, a really kind of too intense smell that the kombu can give off if it gets too hot, right? So keep an eye on it. And I love this, I love dashi because it really forces you to kind of be mindful and pay close attention to what you're doing, right? Because the temperature of this water and the time that the kombu is in there and what we're gonna talk about next makes a really big difference, okay? So now, this has come to a boil just now, all right? So now is the time where we're gonna take our kombu, which is now nice and tender, and you can kind of grab this, and if it's too tough, then you can add a little bit more cold water and let it go a little bit further back to a boil, all right, to get a little more um, of the essence of the kombu out. So now you're gonna bring this quickly back to a boil without the seaweed in it, all right? And you're gonna take the bonito flakes, okay? So this is tuna that's been filleted and steamed and dried and smoked, okay? And then it's been shaved super fine. So it's just incredible, the aroma that you get from this. Really smoky. It's actually kind of hard to describe unless you can smell it. Um, actually, I love this company, by the way, Eden Organics. They're amazing. And I'm gonna put this on my website too so you can find it. Um, you can get it packaged like this, and actually this amount, this 30 grams, is perfect for the four cups of water that we got going on. So, we got our water to a boil. I'm going to add this, okay, and immediately bring it down, and really just off. And I just kind of let it steep at this point. And I wish you could smell, and I hope you do this at home so you can smell this. It's just incredible. It's really amazing. It's so warming. So now we're just gonna kinda let this hang for about a minute and the, um, the bonita is gonna sink to the bottom and really then, then all it is a matter of straining, okay? So I kinda love to use this Chemex. Another awesome reason to have a Chemex at home. Maybe you're doing pour over coffee and you've already got one of these. But for this purpose, this little strainer works really nice, and so now it's been about probably 45 seconds, maybe a minute. And you can just ladle You can see we've got this gorgeous stock now, okay? And um, I've got a little bit more, and I'll finish that later, but I wanted to show you this. So now, the sky's the limit to how you can approach this, okay? So this can be a base for any soup that you want to make, um, different uh, braises, or even some pasta dishes would really benefit from having some dashi, right? So anything you want to kind of kick up a notch, um, give a little more nuance to, instead of just adding water to a dish, dashi can be your go-to, right? Now one thing, this is all about the kind of delicate aromatics that we've just uh, drawn out of this of, of our of our kombu and of our um, bonito. So 
really you don't want to store this for more than a few days okay afterwards it's just going to not not smell as amazing and um, just not be as good so you want to use it up pretty much right away okay so that's it before i go i wanted to show you one of really the the books that has inspired me so much with with japanese food it's this japanese cooking a simple art it's such an amazing insight into the world of japanese cooking in general and it takes you to just amazing places and, and really inspires um, an understanding of Japanese food in, in an amazing way. So it's a, it's a great read. I want you to check it out. You can actually find it on my website. So that's it for today. It's, this is simple dashi, okay? Or an example of dashi. And we can dive further into other kinds in other videos. So I hope you give it a try. See you soon.